What's going on YouTube? I wanted to make this short video that addresses this problem in Betaflight with the receiver tab. Now real quick, I apologize, my audio sounds kind of crappy. I'm on a, a different setup right now. Essentially what's going on is you've bound your transmitter and receiver, you got the green light, depending on whatever receiver you're on, but when you go into Betaflight, you're not able to get any inputs on the receiver tab. Very strange, I wanna share that solution with you right now. So there's a couple of different problems going on here and this also depends on what flight controller you have. Now I'm gonna show you how to solve this if you have the SP Racing F3 flight controller. I'm also gonna try and give you some tips or at least some leads and some good resources in the video description if you don't have that flight controller because it's a similar process. You, you might need to do a couple extra steps but you really should be able to solve this problem between this video and the other videos in the video description from people like Joshua Bardwell and so forth. So let me kind of jump right into it. The first thing you need to do to solve this receiver tab issue is you need to plug in your drone into the computer and you need to launch Betaflight. Here's Betaflight. Now, if take note, or actually real quick, um, let's go ahead and connect. You should be able to connect no problem. Now take note up here in the upper left hand corner. Firmware Betaflight 3.2.3. I was on Betaflight 3.1 I believe point zero. Um, and if you're on that or earlier it's most likely the exact same problem as mine and that was the firmware was too old and it wasn't able to connect to the current version of beta flight so how do you update that I know this is super confusing I do apologize I wish it wasn't like this however it's not that bad this is how you fix it so the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what flight controller board our drone has so you do that by connecting clicking on CLI and then type in the word dump Click enter. It's going to print a bunch of information on the screen. Scroll up to the top, and right after this slash should be the name of your flight controller. So I have SP Racing F3. See what you have because that's going to make a big difference uh, later on in the video. So let me show you how to fix this with SP Racing F3, and then I'll basically show you what to do or help you with, with any other board. So SP Racing F3, so what do you do if you have this board? Now let me also quickly describe my setup. I've got a Tyrannus X9D transmitter. I've got a FreeSky uh, X4R receiver. And I've got this SP Racing F3 flight controller. So that's what I'm working with. That stuff kind of matters. I'm also uh, connecting this with SBUS, which is a newer... Uh, type of connection that you know I think is causing a lot of problems for people okay so once you figure out what board you have the first thing we need to do is disconnect from here and we need to go back to the welcome screen now look down here there's three drivers or at least three links down here the CP210 drivers the STM USB VCP drivers and the Zaddig it depends on what flight controller you have, and that's going to determine which of these drivers you need to install. And this Zaddig is a little program driver. I'm not even sure exactly what it is. But, again, we're starting with the SP Racing F3. All you need is the CP210 drivers. That's all you need. Click on that link here. That's going to bring up the SI Labs website. You'll be able to download the CP210 drivers for your computer, scroll down just a little bit. Here's Windows 10, here's Windows 7, 8, so I would download that because I'm on 7. Okay, once you download that, I'll do it right now actually. Save it, I actually already did that. Here it is on my desktop. Open that up, you're gonna run, or you're gonna extract actually all this stuff into a folder, new folder extract all that in there and you're gonna run the 64 or 86 installer if you have 64 bit windows or 32 bit you'd pretty much always be safe with a 32 bit no matter what version of windows you have 
go ahead and install that okay after you do that you'll be able to now open up uh, connect your drone to your computer we're not going to connect to the drone but we're going to click on firmware flasher now we know what board we have because we just did the dump command and we looked that up we have an SP racing F3 right here now since uh, I don't have this checked unstable releases it's only going to show me stable releases which is really all I want I'm going to go ahead and just select the select the latest one that's 3.2.3 .3. now from here essentially um, you can have full chip erase on and you can have manual baud rate 256000 essentially when you click on load firmware it should load this firmware that we selected up here and if you I'm not going to do it because I uh, already have done it and you you can see it up there in the top left corner when I already connected when you click on flash firmware you shouldn't have any issues flashing the firmware and it should flash the firmware that's going to solve your problem right then and there now if you didn't bind your receiver correctly then that's a whole different issue and that's why you're having this problem but again we're assuming you you did everything correctly but you're still not able to get anything on the receiver tab I also saw a little glitch where sometimes you have to flat you have to click this twice you press this button you get an error you press it again but it works so I just want to point that out some people say that that's a little glitch essentially though if you have an SP racing F3 flight controller this is all you need to do to fix the receiver tab glitch after you do that you'll be able to go to your connecting uh, you'll be able to connect to the drone go to your receiver tab and you should be able to connect just fine and I'll actually show you right now Okay, I'm glitching out. Go to the receiver tab. And you gotta make sure that there's power to your drone or receiver for this whole thing to work. Don't forget. Okay. Low battery. And boom. I've got inputs now in my receiver tab. Okay, so that's the SP Racing F3 board. Let's go ahead and go through a couple steps at least if you don't have the SP Racing F3 flight controller again so you'd go to the CLI type in dump I don't need that on and essentially get your so if it's pretty much anything other than this um, I would recommend watching Joshua Bardwell's video he goes through this step by step and will show you what you need to do but essentially He's going to show you that you need this driver, this driver, and this little tool. And he'll walk you through that. He is much better at that than I am. But essentially, uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of people have the SP Racing F3 board. And I just bought the drone like this, and it just didn't work. And I feel like a lot of other people are in the same boat. So, again, watch, watch Joshua's uh, video. He's going to show you how to install this and then how to install this and then how to use this tool and he's going to basically walk you through that whole that whole process. Once you do that and you follow his video and you get the drivers installed properly, you'll be able to then go to firmware flasher. You'll select your board. I know Om Omnibus is a pretty popular board and uh, you'll be set. You'll be good to go. But essentially that is the problem. Your firmware is out of date. Even if you bought a brand new drone, I know how crazy that sounds where it's like, look, I bought a brand new drone. You're trying to tell me I can't even get it going. Who would have thought that the firmware would become outdated that quickly within a year or so? So I really hope that that helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment in the video. If I don't get back to you, I'm sure someone else will, but I'll do my best to answer your question. Um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.